the ethical and scientific imperative against animal testing, embracing compassionate and effective research together. Animal testing, the practice of using animals in scientific and medical experimentation, persists as a contentious practice, upheld in many societies by legal and institutional frameworks. This essay hopes to argue that animal testing is both morally wrong and scientifically inadequate, failing to provide reliable medical benefits for humans while perpetuating unnecessary harm to sentient beings. Evidence increasingly demonstrates that animals possess complex emotional and cognitive lives, making their exploitation an ethical violation. Furthermore, animal testing creates an environment that disregards compassion and empathy, eroding fundamental human values and contributing to a dangerous precedent for the treatment of vulnerable beings, including humans. Ultimately, this essay argues that the reliance on animal testing, a practice that is both scientifically obsolete and morally indefensible, not only fails to serve humanity, but moreover fosters a world utterly deprived of compassion, accountability and respect for life where and when it is needed most towards those who are least able to defend themselves against superior force. Introduction. Animal testing has been a fixture of scientific and medical research for centuries, justified by the assumption that it contributes to the advancement of overall human health and understanding. However, a growing body of responsible research undermines this assumption, revealing that animal testing is both ethically indefensible and scientifically ineffective. Ethically, it subjects sentient beings capable of complex emotions and suffering to inhuman pain, confinement, and often death. Scientifically, animal testing has proven inadequate in predicting human health outcomes due to fundamental biological differences between humans and animals, resulting in significant failures that eventually harm humans as well. Additionally, the normalization of animal testing establishes a society willing to condone cruelty under the guise of progress, thus eroding humanity's moral compass and fostering an environment where compassion is sacrificed. As we transition to advanced humane alternatives, a thorough re-evaluation of animal testing is not only warranted, but imperative. Moral considerations, animal sentience and the ethics of testing. A primary objection to animal testing stems from the honest recognition of animal sentience, an awareness that animals, like humans, experience complex emotions, pain and mental states. Scientific research on animal cognition and emotional capacity reveals that many species, from mammals to birds and even cephalopods, exhibit profound levels of awareness and sensitivity. This realization carries profound ethical implications. If animals can suffer, then causing them harm for human purposes is morally reprehensible, particularly when alternatives exist. Understanding animal sentience. Animal sentience refers to the capacity of animals to perceive, feel, and respond to their environment with emotions and subjective experiences. Studies in animal cognition have shown that many species demonstrate social bonds, empathy, and even complex problem-solving skills. For instance, primates exhibit behaviors indicative of empathy, cooperation, and distress when witnessing the suffering of others. Elephants display remarkable social cohesion, engaging in mourning rituals for deceased relatives and expressing visible signs of grief. Octopuses, despite being invertebrates, have demonstrated problem-solving abilities and even individual personalities, further underscoring that sentience is not restricted to mammals. The implications of animal sentience challenge the notion that animals can be ethically used as mere research tools. Sentient beings possess intrinsic value, meaning that they have worth beyond their utility to others. They are a someone, not a something. This intrinsic value implies an ethical responsibility to avoid subjecting animals to unnecessary pain, suffering or death. When viewed through this lens, animal testing becomes a morally indefensible practice, treating beings capable of suffering as mere commodities, thereby violating a fundamental ethical principle. 
respect for sentient life, the ethical failure of animal testing. Animal testing often involves inflicting pain, depriving animals of freedom and exposing them to substances that result in suffering and death. These practices disregard the inherent value and dignity of animals. Ethical frameworks such as those proposed by philosopher Peter Singer emphasize that if it is wrong to harm humans based on their capacity to suffer, it is also wrong to harm animals with similar capacities. The argument that animal testing is acceptable because it benefits humans falls short, as it suggests that the suffering of one group is justified if it benefits another, a dangerous ethical precedent that can and has historically been applied to human populations. The persistence of animal testing, despite the existence of humane alternatives, suggests a total disregard for the lives of sentient beings and a profound moral inconsistency in the justification of research practices. The ineffectiveness of animal testing for human health. While ethical arguments against animal testing are compelling, the scientific argument further challenges the practice. Despite claims that animal testing is necessary for advancing human health, evidence indicates that it often fails to produce reliable or applicable results for humans. This failure can be attributed to fundamental physiological differences between species, as well as the increasing availability of more accurate, human-relevant testing methods. Species differences and predictive failure. The biological differences between humans and animals frequently make animal testing an unreliable method for predicting human responses to drugs, treatments and diseases. Each species has unique genetic, metabolic and physiological characteristics that affect how it processes substances and responds to interventions. For example, rodents, one of the most commonly used animals in laboratory testing, metabolize drugs differently from humans leading to significant discrepancies in safety and efficacy results. According to some studies, as many as 90% of drugs that are successful in animal trials fail during human clinical trials, leading to financial losses and health risks for human patients. Not to mention the millions and billions of animal lives shattered and ruthlessly destroyed in the process. Numerous cases demonstrate the limitations of animal testing. Thalidomide, an anti-nausea drug, was deemed safe in animal trials, but caused severe birth defects in thousands of human infants. Similarly, Vioxx, an anti-inflammatory drug, passed animal testing, yet was later found to cause fatal cardiovascular complications in humans, resulting in widespread harm and a costly recall. These examples underscore the risk of assuming that results from animal models will reliably apply to humans, a fallacy that not only undermines scientific integrity, but also jeopardizes human safety. Advancements in human-based research. Alternatives. The limitations of animal testing have spurred innovation in alternative testing methods that are both more accurate and ethical. Technologies such as organ-on-chip systems which simulate human organs and can be used to test drugs' effects on human cells, offer promising alternatives to animal testing. Additionally, advances in computer modeling and in vitro cell-based studies allow researchers to study disease mechanisms and treatment responses in human-specific contexts, avoiding the pitfalls associated with cross-species extrapolation. Organ-on-chip models, for instance, replicate human physiological processes and enable scientists to observe drug interactions in a human-relevant setting. These methods not only improve the accuracy of scientific findings, but also reduce the ethical burden of experimentation on sentient beings. As these technologies continue to advance, they promise to render animal testing obsolete, emphasizing that animal-based research is neither scientifically indispensable nor morally defensible. The broader impact of animal testing on society, eroding compassion and safety, the endorsement of animal testing as a socially acceptable practice perpetuates a culture that normalizes cruelty, eroding the values of compassion and empathy. Living in a world where the suffering of sentient beings is justified under legal, 
and institutional frameworks creates a precedent for other forms of harm, not only to animals, but also to vulnerable human populations as well. The social consequences of abandoning compassion, the moral inconsistency of animal testing, the approval of cruelty toward one group to benefit another, weakens society's commitment to empathy and compassion. By condoning the suffering of animals in the name of scientific progress, society desensitizes itself to violence, thus normalizing harm against beings unable to advocate for themselves. Studies in psychology suggest that exposure to cruelty can diminish empathy, potentially impacting how people treat one another. Furthermore, the moral compromise implicit in animal testing creates an unavoidable slippery slope fostering indifference toward other ethical boundaries, including those that ultimately protect the inviability of human rights. An unsafe world for humanity. Animal testing creates a precedent where beings are categorized by their perceived utility rather than their inherent value on their own terms. A dangerous mindset that history has shown to harm human societies. The logic that justifies harm to animals based on their difference from humans can and has been extended to harm marginalized human groups. By fostering a culture where compassion is secondary to convenience or profit, animal testing contributes directly and indirectly to a far less safe, less empathetic world, where the value of life is determined by its economic and so-called functional utility rather than its intrinsic worth. Sacrificing scientific integrity for cruelty, the continuation of animal testing not only reflects a total moral failure, but also compromises scientific progress. By adhering to outdated methods, society prioritizes tradition over accuracy and efficiency, promoting a science that is spurious and harmful. The reliance on animal testing is a testament to a failure to adapt to the demands of ethical and scientifically sound research practices. Embracing human-based research methods, however, reflects a commitment to integrity, responsibility, and respect for all forms of life, thus advancing not only scientific knowledge, but also the moral fabric of society. Conclusion. Animal testing stands as both a moral atrocity and a complete scientific failure. Animals are sentient beings, capable of experiencing pain, emotions, and social bonds that warrant ethical treatment and care. The continued practice of animal testing disregards these considerations, subjecting animals to unnecessary suffering while often yielding results that fail to benefit human health. By creating a culture that permits the suffering of others for the sake of convenience, animal testing contributes to a world where compassion is devalued and cruelty normalized. Fortunately, advancements in alternative research methods offer a pathway forward allowing for a science rooted in compassion, accuracy and respect for life. As we embrace humane and scientifically sound alternatives, we reject a legacy of harm and commit to a future where the dignity of all beings is respected. Thank you.